WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we've got most of all the U.S. indices, actually, that we track trading to the downside. Let's start. You've got the Dow down 65 points. That's less than two-tenths percent. Three-tenths for the S&P, or 14, 15 points. Eight-tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 136 points there. Seven-tenths for the Russell, 13-point move. Semis are down 79. That's 2% to the downside. To the upside, you've got gold trading up 26 bucks, one and three-tenths, one and a half percent for silver, 37 pennies. Light three crude is off 20 cents. Natural gas is up three pennies. 30 your treasury printing out at 115.24 that's down two ticks let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin the es mini upper left hand side we don't have any kind of a topping pattern or anything that's in place right now you've got an inside day i expect and anticipate that the uh, es mini is going to go target this swing point out here from the trading session of july the 27th the low of that swing is 46.05 the high of yesterday was at 40. 571. Spot volatility is certainly set up for the ES Mini, the S&P to continue to move higher. It's trading well below its 50-day exponential moving average. Inside day, inside of the NQ as well, no topping signal here. Although price is up at, um, well, I'm going to have to go back and take a look at other charts. It is testing. I believe it has tested the uh, swing point out here. Yes. Yeah. So the swing point low from July 19th is uh, 16115. The high from yesterday was 16116 the high today 16122 so we've got tests and rejections of that swing point if we take a look at the u.s dollar index it is it does have an a to b equals cd to the downside if we were to produce a bullish reversal candle today that would generate a buy the d point pattern out there short of that price will go target 102.25 goldilocks would negate a td9 count top with a close above 2009.20 that would be a bullish indication in fact if you get a close today or anytime above the swing point from october 27th that high would be 2019 you would generate an a to b equals cd pattern to the upside in the case of Silver, silver right now is testing both profile and its TD9 count breakdown resistance levels. And those are up at basically the 2390 level. We're trading right now, 2399. We're trading right now at 23.99. You gotta love it. If we take a look at um, lights, we crude. Lights, we crude needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. Price just consolidating with inside its daily profile. In the case of natural gas, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom as well. And if we get a close above 115.38, we're at 115.24 right now. The 30-year Treasury will generate an A to B equals CD to upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.